I'm delighted to be here with you, with uh, our honored guest tonight, Michael Bloomberg, who is uh, an exceptional man. Michael and I spent two hours today speaking, and it's always uh, provocative and insightful and real and deep. I'll talk about that. But we're delighted to see you here, Michael, in Jerusalem. Come back again and again and again. I say that on behalf of uh, Mayor uh, Nir Barkat, the Mayor of Jerusalem, uh, the Chairman of the Jewish Agency, Nathan Sharansky, and you've, uh, you've built on the philanthropy that is already there with the Genesis Philanthropy Group. And that support uh, is for vital institutions, for vital programs, including Taglit, Birthright, Israel, Massa, and Hillel. These are all very important to keep the connection between Israel and the Jewish people. And I think that uh, in creating the Genesis Prize, there is a need to identify each year one outstanding individual. One individual who uh, embodies in many ways Jewish traditions and Jewish values. The most important uh, tradition that we have is that we cherish our heritage, but we are always seeking new things. If you're talking about Jews, you always are dissatisfied with the present. There's always something new that can be done. There's a different way of thinking about things about problems, about solutions, about challenges. I think that's what the state of Israel is about. We've achieved remarkable things in our uh, 65 years, our 66 years. And I think the world marvels at it. We achieved it because we're grounded in our traditions, and yet at the same time we seek to seize the future with technology, with science, with breakthrough innovation. And I can think of no one more worthy of this honor, which we present tonight for the very first time, than my friend Michael Bloomberg. Michael's remarkable achievements extend through business, through public service, through philanthropy. You know, when he decided to run for public service, he stepped away from a business that defined innovation. How many people do you know around the world whose name is known around the world? I was in Japan, turned on the television, Bloomberg. I was in Davos, turned on the television, Bloomberg. I think I was in China, I turned on the television, Bloomberg. Michael has uh, revolutionized an industry, has opened up vast sources of information, and as uh, mayor of New York, he bought, I think, an unmatchable credo of leadership and management I can say that he changed New York. Everybody saw that. He had novel approaches to education, to welfare, to public management, to finances, to restaurants, everything. All of us visit New York and we could see the difference. So he put one of the most challenging and complicated cities in the world on solid footing and of course, you know, he was the mayor of the largest uh, Jewish city in the world. Well, not quite, I mean, but it is uh, something that we're very proud of. All the things that uh, he brought and did, but he didn't stop in New York. Uh, after serving uh, as mayor for 12 years, he accepted uh, Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's invitation to serve as special envoy to the United Nations for cities and climate change. I think Michael brings big thinking, combined with uh, a laser-like focus on measurable results that can indeed change the world. And Michael is strongly connected to Israel. I said that like Michael, we have taken huge risks. We've demonstrated incredible chutzpah, but Michael, I think, has shown how this is possible in his own way on a global scale. In uh, 2003, he came here with his late mother, Charlotte, and his sister, Marjorie, 
to dedicate the Mother and Child Center at Adassa Hospital in honor of his mother's 95th birthday. This is for Jay Leno. Anybody who brings his mother uh, and his sister to take care of them and their 95th birthday is a good <laughs> Jewish son. In, 19, in 2009, when rockets were uh, raining down on Shdoot, Michael returned to Israel, bringing him, with him a coalition of New York City leaders he wanted to identify with the uh, people in distress in the South, that's the time when people were canceling trips. Michael was making that trip to support Israel. In 2011, he came back again to Israel to dedicate a Megen David Adom Emergency Services Center to honor the memory of his late father, William. Honoring your father and mother is part of uh, an important Jewish tradition which became universal. And I think that Michael shows something that is important for all of us. When I travel around the world, people appreciate Israel. They marvel at our achievements relative to our size and sometimes independent of our size. They understand that there's something unusual in the spirit of our people, in the spirit of our nation. And often when they talk about Israel, they talk about the Jewish people at large. And they mention outstanding individuals who contribute to the rapid pace of change and the most innovative changes in our world. They mention Michael. And I think in the respect that he brings to the world, to our Jewish world, the fact that he continues this tradition of restless inquiry, boldless innovation, commitment to Israel and the Jewish people, the ability to identify solutions, and before that, to identify the problem. Michael is an outstanding individual, uh, and I want to uh, take with you the opportunity to congratulate him and to dedicate him this much-deserved Genesis Prize. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for making this a better world.